This ruler is weak and hollow-hearted. Pushkin wrote about Alexander I. But was this description fair? Yes, Alexander was rather cunning, but certainly not weak. Some call him an angel, others call him a sphinx. Kind and courteous, Alexander was able to conceal his true intentions and feelings. He grew up between two conflicting courts, his grandmother's Catherine the Great's and his father's, the future Emperor Paul's. But Alexander had enough political will and steadfastness. He achieved his goal of defeating Napoleon completely. The war changed Alexander. He experienced a serious religious crisis. It is believed that at the end of his reign, the emperor became too enthusiastic about foreign policy and rather disinterested in domestic affairs. Yet, after the Great War, there was neither the strength nor the means to reform. But at the same time, Russia became a new center of strength in the whole world. The system of international relations established by Alexander lasted more than 30 years.